you probably have a lot of questions for me about this impeachment nonsense. And I'd love to answer every single one of them, believe me, I do. But as you can see from this very loud running helicopter behind me, I'm in a big, big hurry right now, so I don't really have the time, but everything is perfect, okay? Thanks for all your questions. And I really should be heading out right now, okay? Wait, Mr. President, uh, just a few questions. Can you comment on Ambassador Sondland's damning testimony about your illegal dealings with Ukraine? I can't really hear you that good because of this lousy chopper behind me. <laughs> but it sounds like you said Sondland's testimony completely exonerated me, and I totally agree. <laughs> actually wrote down notes from his testimony that proves my innocence and I used the biggest, fattest, blackest magic marker I could find. I love black magic markers, by the way. I know most people use Sharpies. They smell like licorice. Anyway, like I was saying, I got to go to Michigan right now. Uh, wait, wait, Mr. President. Exactly which part of Sondland's testimony proves your innocence? Uh, it's right here in my notes of super important conversations on the phone I've had. I'll read one, but then I got to split, okay? This is me and Ambassador Sondland talking. He says to me, what do you want? And I answer, two large pies, extra cheese, extra sauce. <laughs> no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. That's, that's a different phone call. Oh, here it is. I said to Sondland, I want nothing, no quid pro quo, bro. See? It's right here in black licorice case closed, okay? I have to go get on this chopper right now. Wait, wait, uh, hold on, Mr. President, but that wasn't the only conversation you've had with Ambassador Sondland. It doesn't matter. I'm, I still told him no quid pro quo at least once, so any quid that I get after that, that's on them. So that's how it works, see, okay? It's just like when you meet a girl and you say, if you're a cop, you gotta tell me, okay? Besides... <laughs> I don't even know this Ambassador Sondland guy. That's fake news. But he's donated a million dollars to your inauguration. And you appointed him to the EU. Well, I know him, but I don't know him, know him. I never, like, met him in person. Uh, look, I'd love to explain, but this battery on this chopper is going to die very, very soon. So. Everybody up, okay? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's you, Ambassador Sondland. Are you, you yeah. blowing Mr. the horn Trump, for me? Mr. Yeah. Trump, can you at least elaborate on your comments yesterday on Fox and Friends, where you said Adam Schiff was the whistleblower? No, 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 no. I never said he was the whistleblower, okay? It's so great to finally meet you for the first time, by the oh, way. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Keep the uh, quid pro quo on the Lolo. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just was leaving right now. Uh, hang on, I, I just want to go on the record and say, you guys need to lay off my boy. Everybody loves his ass. Thank you. Ukraine, Russia. That's enough, that's enough. They'll do anything for this man. Oh. I know, I asked. All right. I got to go in conclusion, no quid pro quo. Oh, there, there definitely was. And live from New York, it's, it's Saturday night.